on all governments to ensure that all Indigenous women, girls, and 2S LG. BTQQIA people are provided with safe, no barrier, permanent and meaningful access to their cultures. A total of 231. This is the number of calls to justice in the MMIWG final report. But how exactly is the federal government doing as far as implementing these calls to justice? The establishment of an Indigenous and Human Rights Ombudsperson and Tribunal would be one way to measure success of implementation. But former Commissioner Marion Buller says it's hard to tell where the government is at on this. After June 30th, 2019, nobody reports to me or any of the other commissioners. So the only way we can find out is like anyone, any other citizen in Canada, uh, and that's to do Google searches from time to time. Former Commissioner Kaya Robinson says success can't be measured by government dollars spent or programs created. But they must do more so than just show you the budgets that they've spent and the line items attached. They must be prepared to show you how it has affected people's lives. You must learn to understand and they must demonstrate how their actions, decisions have informed and enhanced the lives of people. The response to the report is the Trudeau government's responsibility. But the former chief commissioner says the Senate can play an important role. What can the Senate do to assist, I think, uh, uh, there are many ways that the Senate can uh, put uh, very subtle pressure on the executive branch. Uh, embarrassment is a good form of subtle pressure. June 3rd well marked the third anniversary of the release of the final report of the inquiry into missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls. Fraser Needham, APTN National News, Ottawa.